What's up, Mitten Squad? My name is Paul and welcome back to another Top 10 video. In this video, I'll be going over 10 things you didn't know about Fallout again. Number 10. The Wanamingos from Fallout 2 were at one point planned to be in Fallout 3, but they were never added into the final version of the game. For those of you who aren't familiar with Wanamingos, they are bipedal creatures created in part with FEV to be used as weapons against other countries before the Great War. Concept art shows it as being a possible variant of the original, but being much bigger and without tentacles. Number 9. In a 2002 interview with DalkinCover.cx, the creator of the Fallout series, Tim Kane, said that the Vault Boy is based on the Monopoly guy. Quote, Ah, Vault Boy. All I remember is Leonard telling T. Ray Isaac to draw something like Mr. Moneybags from Monopoly. End quote. Number 8. Pinball machines found in Pilgrim's Landing in Fallout 3's Point Lookout DLC as well as one in the Jacobstown Lodge in Fallout New Vegas, have the words White Star written on them. White Star is a reference to the White Star board system, which is an arcade system board used for several pinball games designed by Stega Pinball and their successor, Stern Pinball, between 1995 and 2004. Number 7. Fallout 4's Elder Maxon can actually be found in Fallout 3 inside the Citadel, though he's a child and known as Squire Maxon. Number 6. During Fallout 2's launch party, promotional items were given out to those who were attending. Among those items was a gecko in a can. This was actually a plush gecko in a can, designed to appear as if it were food intended for consumption. Originally, the plan was to have dog meat in the can, but no suitable dog plushies could be found. Number 5. At the entrance of Nipton in Fallout New Vegas, a man by the name of Oliver Sandwick comes up to you and proclaims that he won the lottery. Later, we discover that the lottery is a death sentence and if you fail to win, you are executed. This may be a reference to the short novel The Lottery by Shirley Jackson, where the winner of the lottery was stoned. This is practically the same incident, just the prize for winning is altered. It can also be said that both lotteries were well known around the town. Speaking of Nipton, if the player has the Wild Wasteland perk, they can find two charred skeletons outside of Nipton's town hall, near some distorted houses. The skeletons actually have names, Owen and Baru. This is a reference to Star Wars where, spoilers, Luke Skywalker returns home, only to find his family's farm on fire and the charred bodies of his uncle Owen and Aunt Beru. Number 4. After blowing up Megaton in Fallout 3 and encountering Moira after she becomes a ghoul, one of the player's dialogue options is, Honey, you got real ugly. This is a reference to Evil Dead 3 Army of Darkness, where Ash says this to Sheila. Number 3. The 223 pistol found in Fallout and Fallout 2 is modeled after Rick Deckard's handgun from the movie Blade Runner. The gun appears again in Fallout New Vegas, named as That Gun. According to Joshua Sawyer, the reason it was named that is because many people refer to it as just That Gun from Fallout 1 and 2. Number 2. If you complete the main quest in Fallout 4 without returning the Sanctuary, you can actually get some unique dialogue with Codsworth. After he asks about what happened to Sean, you can tell him that Sean and your wife or husband are dead, depending on which ending you chose. Number 1. On June 27, 2016, Redditor NewJXLVII wrote a post in the Fallout 4 subreddit about his brother who was dying. He and his brother talked about what they'd do if a Fallout-type event actually happened. He wanted to be a ghoul, and his brother wanted to be a super mutant, so they could travel the world together forever. Not long after making the post, his brother died at the age of 24. After reading the post, Bethesda Softworks community manager Jessica Tristan put together a care package for him. Included inside was a handwritten note, along with some limited edition t-shirts, a Fallout 4 themed Xbox One controller, a Vault Boy bobblehead, and a few other things. Bethesda then took it a step further, adding his brother Evan into the Nuka World DLC for Fallout 4. Alright, that's gonna do it for this top 10 video about Fallout again. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions for any future top 10 video about any game or game character. Follow me on Twitter, at Mitten Squad. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.